It goes as follows. On the north side of the street, a group of young black men are walking together, baseball caps slung to the back, talking loudly, and brandishing a bat. On the south side of the street, a group of young white men are walking together, baseball caps slung to the back, talking loudly, and brandishing a bat. Which one is the street game? And which one is the baseball team? <laughs> or to put that another way, another more personal way, what do you see when you see me? It is a question that has been asked with increasing urgency and, and poignancy over the last few years. What did George Zimmerman see when he decided to follow and ended up shooting 17-year-old Trayvon Martin? What did America see when it tried to reach consensus on that case? Zimmerman is a man who now has six mug shots to his credit, but it was Trayvon that much of America declared to be a thug. What did we see when we looked at him? What did police see when Abner Louima tried to show them his wallet and ended up dying in a New York vestibule in a hail of, of bullets? Did they see a wallet? Would they have seen a wallet if he had not been a brown-skinned man? What did people on the hidden camera program, What Would You Do, see when they saw a black kid trying to break the chain on a bicycle in a park? What did they see that made them circle around him, taking cell phone video for evidence and, and call, uh, call police to report a theft in progress? And why didn't they see the same thing when ABC uh, set up a white kid in the same spot trying to break a chain on the same bicycle? Why did they allow him to pass without comment or challenge? And finally, what did Cliven Bundy see or what did we see, I should say, when Clive and Bundy took up arms and gathered uh, an, an army of men also armed to resist the authority of the federal government? What did authorities see that made them put up with this standoff, this open defiance of the law? Did they see an, a harmless old eccentric and, and decide that the use of force would be overkill? Would they have seen the same thing or reached the same conclusion? if Clive Bundy had been African American. What do you see when you see me? Do you see you? Do you see any possibility of you? And if not, then why? There would be no problem of race in this country if race hustlers like me and my pal, Al Sharpton, and my other pal, Jesse Jackson, <laughs> would stop stirring the pot. It is a rare day when I don't receive a half dozen emails making that argument in tones of angry indignation. As one lady put it, and I swear this is an exact quote, you cause racism by talking about race. <laughs> <laughs>